the ball movement was great. Uh, transition was great. Uh, we got bogged down in the third. I thought that uh, Carl's uh, foul trouble probably hurt us a little bit. Um, and then at the end of the game, I liked I, we started making really good decisions off penetration. And uh, I thought that opened things up for us. It seemed like uh, Okogi gave you a nice burst there in, in the fourth, and then Wiggins to kind of well, close it. I up. thought our bench, you know, I thought, you know, like the one thing about like Sarich uh, is, is his size and physicality. The same thing with Covington. I thought Josh had some good moments also. Um, but the versatility that allows you to do a little bit more switching, especially like when you look at guys like Taj and uh, Cov and uh, Andrew uh, Sarich, it's it's good. It's a lot of those six eight, six nine guys. The, the long arms, you know, and you could throw Josh in there, and obviously he's smaller, but he's got the, you know, seven two wingspan, so I think that helps him. Uh, and I thought Carl had a great game going, and then, you know, the foul trouble probably slowed him down. He lost a little bit of rhythm there. This is two straight games now where you held your opponent to low 40s percent shooting. What are you just seeing on the defensive end right now? Probably, a, you know, more being more tied together and and the new guys uh and they're very impressed with them because to go out there and play in a game with basically one shoot around and you know uh uh you know a pre-game and then to go out there and, and they just play hard so even if they, they're not quite sure on something they make up for it with their hustle and you know hustle goes a long way you know you, you can make up for mistakes by just playing as hard as you possibly can and so they got deflections, they made hustle plays, it brought energy to the group. Uh, and, you know, that you got to do whatever you can to win. And, you know, New Orleans is a great team. They, you know, just come, came off a, a great win at Toronto. You always talk about emphasizing your strengths, covering your weaknesses. This uh, group of being able to switch on defense is a strength now. Do you think that will affect some of your defensive game planning? Yeah, you know, like you go in to, uh, in, into training camp, and you think about that a lot. You know, you think because you you go in and you want to have the team. You want the team to have an understanding who their their switching partners are. So you go through your whole roster that way. And now this adds more to it. And so, and I think in time, like these guys will be able to Dario and uh, and Robert will be able to play different positions also. So they're pretty much locked into one position, but I think we can we have a lot of flexibility with those guys and what it allows you to do uh, it allows you to do a lot of things defensively, but it will also allow us to do a lot of things offensively as well. Based on how the West Coast trip went uh, in the fourth quarter to see Carl doing what he did, especially on the defensive end with that block and Wiggins flying through the air. Was that kind of the, the aggressiveness and toughness you're looking for out of those guys, especially in late game situations like this? Yeah, I just, you know, and I want them to continue to grow. So there's, you know, there's a challenge for them to continue to get better. You know, and we talked about, you know, one game doesn't mean you have it all figured out. Just come in tomorrow, be hungry to improve. Uh, and then you know, be ready to play. It's the games keep coming. You know, it's a challenge every night, particularly in the West. Uh, I like the way we play at home. Uh, I think we have to continue to build on that. Tom, I'm wondering um, what, like you said, where with these new guys that only just shot around with you this morning, what made you comfortable? What did you see in Robert that made you want to play him for 41 minutes? Well, today? you know, you you have you get a feeling. Uh, you know, when you're coaching against uh, players, like I, I remember last year playing against them, and th th those guys, um, I like their mental toughness. And so what they were a part of in Philadelphia was, you know, they, they went through some really dark days there. And they just kept going and going and going. And uh, even last year, I think they were 25 and 25. You know, and then all of a sudden they just clicked and they took off, and they were a big part of that. So, I think being mentally tough when you face adversity, I love, you know, what, what Covington has done to go undrafted and to be first team all defense. 
<laughs> that's a lot, you know, it says a lot. And Dario, you know, followed him from uh, his international play. And, you know, everyone that scouted him and coached against him have great respect because he plays hard and he plays smart, you know. And both of those guys, that's what, that's what makes them so valuable. They're, and they're all about the team. They're, you know, they want to move the group forward. We touched on it a bit, but that sequence with two minutes to play where Carl blocks Davis, he's got five fouls, Davis goes up strong, Carl gets the block, and then the other end with Wiggins on the dunk. Obviously, that's the ideal, but uh, what was what were you thinking as you saw that happening? Well, I think it, like the same, when you see plays like that, when you see great effort plays, which both of those were, they do nothing but unite and inspire the team. You know, like everyone can see it, you know, and you feel it. And I think that emotion is great. Uh, and it, those are tough plays. Those are winning plays. And they impact winning. So, uh, you know, the more we do it, the better. But I think we all recognize how, how great that was. And then we got to be ready to do it again. Tom, you can see Covington's anticipation on defense. It's, you know, jumping into passing lanes. Yeah, it was great. And I, you know, and that, I think he has great instincts. Uh, he's got a lot of toughness. You can see, it, like, he reads plays extremely well. He reads the ball, uh, and you, you can tell he's thinking uh, and he's processing what's going on. He's very aware in the game. Uh, his communication, I thought, his communication, Dario's communication was terrific, and it gets everyone talking. And so, and I don't want to overlook what Jeff did. I thought Jeff was fantastic making plays. It, it seemed like Robert and Josh got limited minutes out there together, but when they were together, it seemed they were pretty successful. Is that a pairing that you think you'll you'll use more moving forward? Are you advocating more minutes for Robert? <laughs> no, not, not, I don't. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> yeah, no, and and I think we'll, you know we can see that. You know, I think you you know you're looking at. Great versatility. Like so, what is Josh? He's two, three. I think Roberts a two, three, four, um, and that's what I like. I like the flexibility that it gives us. Uh, Taj can play, you know, with those guys as well. Um, so basically, two, three, and four now have become very interchangeable, and, you, and we can mix and match depending on what's going on. I think Covington gives us a guy uh, that can also guard point guards. You know, which I think will be invaluable. We've seen a lot in the last couple of years of Cat being kind of hung out to dry in the paint, making a decision, somebody going back door, not making a decision, somebody hits a floater. You're seeing a little bit less of that tonight. It's one <laughs> game. But is there a sense, you know, when teammates around him, is that uh, the difference there? Or what uh, the difference maybe a little bit? Yeah, probably a team combination team. of things. I think. He's learning. He's young. He, I think the more experience each each game, he learns something. And I think that, you know the people that are around him are helping him. Uh, and so, I, and I, and that's how you build trust. You know, with your teammates is when they need help. You know, you you have to give help, and when you need help, they have to give help. You know, we always say help like you would want to be helped for. And so, I think there's an awareness that goes along with that. I think his experience, I think he, you know, Cat wants to win. So, um, but we know we got to do a lot better on that end of the floor. You have a lot of guys who can play the four right now. Do you see any situations where maybe Taj gets more minutes at the five? Well, that's, you know, and, and so that's something that we're, we'll, we'll look at. And I think, uh, you know, we want players to, to know multiple positions. And oftentimes they are interchangeable. So I think we could see him play some five, depending on the matchup. I want some guys to get some experience at the three, you know. So, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a good problem. It's it's not an easy problem, but it's a good problem to have. We we'll, we will need everyone.